this is Bombie Jake, and welcome to another kind of random video. Today I thought I'd talk a bit about a movie. The movie in specific I'm talking about is Captain America Civil War. Now this is by far my favourite Avengers Marvel thing movie. Like I like a lot of others, like I like the X-Men films and I like the Avengers Age Vault one. I say that because I'm just looking on my screen now. Um, but I thought I would do a video talking about this, but in specific, I wanted to talk about what in particular am I talking about? And I don't know, I don't know the thing I was distracted. So, I'm going to be talking about Captain America's team, Iron Man team, are they equal? So, first of all, I'll go over Captain So, Captain America's team involved Captain America himself, obviously, Hawkeye, the guy with the bow and arrow, Falcon, the guy with the metal wings, Bucky, slash the Winter Soldier, the Winter Soldier, I don't really remember what's in that film, I have watched it, I just don't remember, what, don't remember much about it, Ant-Man, who is by far my favourite, is my second, who is my second favourite character in this movie, and Scarlet Witch, who is my favourite character in this movie, and on Iron Man's team, we have Iron Man, of course, Black Panther, who is supposed to be like an African prince, I think. Sang along those lines. I'm not quite sure. Um, Vision, who was created in the Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, look at my list. Black Widow. Fighter, like she, there's not really much to do. She just she doesn't have. She's just a fighter. She just go. Who's kick? She just does some kicking and punchy stuff. War Machine, which is just another guy in a metal suit, and Spider Man, who, yeah, does. He's quite cool. So for, I, at first, I think I go. I thought I go over kind of the equalities between one character from one team and one character from another. So the first two. I've got a Scarlet Witch and Vision. They both have magical powers, so I thought it made sense to put them both together. Um, number two, I have Falcon and War Machine, because they're just two secondary guys who both have metal suits, so it's kind of the same, isn't it? Number three would be Bucky, so I still into Soldier, and Black Widow, because they're both mainly just kind of martial arts fighters. And then number four, I have Spider-Man and Ant-Man. Now, I, this is one that I've had to spend a long time thinking about because I thought because they're both kind of amateurs. They're not really that used to fighting, especially fighting, especially Spider-Man. And Ant-Man's only had one job for obviously for his own movie, Ant-Man, which I actually really like. That's a pretty good Marvel movie. Let's just go and watch that. And. Fifth, I have Hawkeye and Black Panther because again they kind of they don't have any special powers and more just fighters who have a lot of skill. So that is basically my main, like main thing. Now, if I look at so say we Vision and Scarlet Witch, who is more powerful between the two? I'd probably say Scarlet Witch because like she is. Like a, it's kind of like telekinesis, I guess. Like she can move things around, and Vision can't. And that's kind of more powerful because, like, she can throw things and stuff. Um, so that's what. So uh, it, it'll be our six. So, oh yeah, I've got Captain America and Iron Man. We'll get back to that later. So that's one point to Captain America's team. <coughs> Number two, Falcon and War Machine. Probably War Machine because he kind of has like. These kind of guns on his shoulders, if you know what I mean. So I thought, uh, so I thought I, so that's kind of another point. To Iron Man's team, um, Black Widow and Bucky slash the Winter Soldier. Probably Bucky because he has this, because he has that iron arm, which kind of makes him superior to Black Widow, who basically just does a lot of kicking, punchy stuff. And there's, so now that got there, sorry. Uh, um, we have, um, Spider-Man and Ant-Man, probably Ant-Man, because Spider-Man is obviously a kid, 
and Ant-Man can make things bigger and smaller. He can go bigger and smaller, which I think is quite cool. Um, finally, Hawkeye and Black Panther. Probably Hawkeye, because he's he can actually kind of do. He has like lots of different fancy arrows which he can use. So well, I just realized I've lost track of. Uh, so, so at the moment we have it's four one. Where's that? Oh, can't be right, can it? Where's so we got? Oh, I'll put myself. I, I, I think it's yeah four one. Yeah, that's right, four one. Four one to Captain America's team. But you think about Captain America and Iron Man? Then it's kind of two five, two four, because Iron Man's more kind of more powerful than Captain America because he has his fancy metal suit, which I. By the way, I really really like that. But either way, Captain America still like I think, I think uh, Scarlet is more powerful than Vision. I think Falcon's more no. I think sorry, I'm gonna Bucky is more powerful than Black Widow, and Ant Man's more powerful than Spider Man. Hawkeye's more powerful than Black, uh, yeah, than Black Panther. So overall, I think that Captain America's team is was more powerful. You might agree, you might not. If you don't, then that's fine. Um, yeah. So I hope you're enjoying this kind of one-off video. If you if you want to see more like it. Like the video, subscribe if your hands already, and follow me on Instagram at Bumper Dick. And leave, a, leave in the comments whether you agree or disagree with my decision. Um, and if you don't, let me know who, which team you think is better and why. And let me know if you want to see more one off videos like this. Apart from that, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!